hi welcome back to my youtube tutorials this is ab and graphics yes. on this note we are going to continue what we left at uh, on monday that we started the full tutorial on how to design a funeral book yes so uh, on monday we did we learned how to design the front cover so today we are going to learn how to do the back cover then we can move on so on this particular tutorial i have just give, given us some two distance over there so i'm going to put this particular uh, cover over there in the link below there so that you can download it and also practice and have it or you can just keep it anytime you have a client work like that you can just use it and the, and these are the information that we are going to use on this particular distance to get the work done so first of all let's just head over to our distance like this then we are going to create a new document and this particular new document should be what a5 the size should be a5 because the front is a5 so the back two should be a5 so we call that one back back cover then we do what we click ok so checking on this particular distance this one is in portrait mode so we have to change it to landscape so we move to image then we come to image rotation then we 90 clockwise it then when we 90 clockwise is this what we are going to get over there you get that yes so on this note what we need to do is to start designing the background how we want the background should be on this particular system but before that let us give us a guideline so on this particular guideline we are going to use photoshop own guideline which is view so from view we can get the guidelines there that we can use it so in this particular system we are moving to view over here then we come to, we, we move our mouse to what new guide then we click on that particular one so horizontally position zero inches so for this particular design we are going to use percentages so i'm just going to get one percent i just need the one percent uh, guideline then i'll do what i click off okay. then i have it top there then over there too i'm just going to do the same thing over there so 100 100 minus one you get 99 so 99 99 percent then i do what then i click okay yes so we're now going to get the horizontally so we'll come back to the view again then we get to new guide again then we'll change it to vertically then when we change it to vertically over here one percent is we'll put there and then we do another one and that one is going to be what 99 uh, hundred minus one which is 99 so we have 99 percent two over there then we can have it just like that you get that yes so on this note the next thing we have to do is to go to file then we come to place the link so placing the link we are going to place this particular background there yes which is going to fit it up then we have like this over there yes you get that yes so the next thing again we have to do again on this particular distance is to draw up this particular shape there shape there over there just like this and like that okay it's equal you get that it is equal so we can have something like this over there so over there what we need to do is that this particular red field we have to close it up we don't need that one but we have to open up the stroke there then that particular stroke let me just give it red and that particular distance i give it a size of 10 then i have something like that over there not too big it's okay or oh, yes so the next thing again i have to do again is to come to the edges over there so that i'll just make the edges edges so rounded so i'll just move my distance somewhere like this so that it will be somehow rounded just like that okay yes and then i'll have it just like this so the next thing again i have to do is to hold shift alternate just to move the distance down a little bit so that it will be far from this edges so that it will have problem when trimming it so let me just hold shift control shift alternate sorry then i can have it just like that it's very small one yes so that is this way it will be okay for me so the next thing again i have to do again is to come to that particular shape there then i'll right click then i'll duplicate it like this or you press ctrl j to duplicate then over the properties over there i'm just going to close up that particular link then i'll open up a distance so that i'll use this particular color over there then i can have it just like that so the next thing again to, uh, again i have to do over here is that i'm just going to hold the shift alternate to move it down again shift alternate then i can move it a little bit down yes 
it shouldn't be too big and it shouldn't be too small you get that yes so i can have it just like that over there so on this particular note i'm going to add a gradient color to you so i'm going to select it down come and click fx then i'll go to gradient overlay then when i get to gradient overlay i'm just going to search for this particular uh, gradient over there then i'll click ok then i'll click ok and this way will be okay for me over there so the next thing again i have to do again is that on this format for this tutorial not to be too long for this particular destiny i'm going to right click then i'll duplicate it then when i duplicate it i'm going to add a gradient again to it the same gradient that i use over there then i'll just have that particular gradient over there just like that you get that and then when i have some gradient over there like that i'll right click on this particular distance and create a clipping mask inside this particular distance then over this one i'm just going to hold it and move it to somewhere here somewhere here okay for me and then i'll right click and then do what and i'll duplicate that one too over there and then up on this particular distance i'm going to go to properties then the field i'll close it up and then the stroke i'll add it up and which is with 10 size so so over there too i'm just going to hold control and move that one to come out a little bit just like this i love it so that is how i want that one to, to be to to be over there so i'll duplicate the two distance over there right click then i'll duplicate it just like that and then when that one is duplicated i'll hold control again and move that one to somewhere here so that it will be somewhere here so yes okay somewhere here will be okay for me and then the other one too i'll move it out a little bit just like this then i can have something like this over there you get that so over this particular distance i'm going to change i'm going to reduce the opacity to 90 percent just like that so that you can see what is inside there yes so transparent so i can have something like this over there without any problem yes so the next thing again i have to do is to come to my details over there and come and copy it, the appreciation over there then i'll just come and paste it somewhere here just like that then i can have it just like that okay so the i'm going to use this particular uh, font cream cake so cream cake will be okay for me and then i'm going to add a, 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 a gradient overlay to it then I can use this particular gradient overlay over there without any problem. And then I can decide to move it a little bit bigger, just like that. Okay. And the next thing again I have to do is to come and pick the family of the leads. Then I'll copy that one. And then I'll just come and paste that one to somewhere here. You get that. Just like this. And then I'm going to change the font. I'm going to change the font to different fonts. Let me see which font will I use over there. So for that particular listing, I'm going to use this particular Adobe font over there. And then I'll reduce the size a little bit small over there, just like this. And then I can change the color to white over there without any problem. I want it to be pure white. It is not pure white, pure white. So just like this. Okay. And then I'll just try and make it uh a, a, a bold italic i want it bold italic then i can have it just like this over there. so the next thing again i have to do is to come and pick the full name of the person which is w o dennis lawe uh Bunwari, you know the name is two this thing then i'll have it just like this and then i'll have something like this over there okay but over here i'm going to click over here so that to make it bold to make it capital or capital then i can have it just like that okay and the next thing again i have to do is to increase the size a little bit and then i'll add another gradient color to a gradient map to, to to that particular name too then i can have it okay just like that okay but for that one i don't want that one to be italic i just want the name to appear just like this okay yes so the next thing again i have to do is to head over to the distance and then i'll come and pick this particular this thing over here then i can copy that one to over there and then i'll come and pick the shape uh, the, the the text tool over here so holding the text here i'm going to hold the text shape that i'm going to click like this and then hold the the the, the, the text tool and move it somewhere like this so that you will see the, you see this kind of thing is very important then i can have it like this then i will right click and then i paste my work there then when that one is done i just need to do some adjustment to that particular so that all of them will come so i'm going to change the size to 18 and then i make this one to 18 so that everything on that will come and i'll make it small letters just like that and then 
um the next thing again i have to do is to make it italic i want that one to be italic and then over there too i'm just trying to make uh make these changes on that so that i won't have any problem through the design you get that yes so i'm just going to have it just like that and then i'll have something like this over there so yes i'll have something like this over there and then i'll make some changes over here and then i'll make some changes too over here then i'll make some changes too over here and then I'll have it just like that make some changes to over here then I'll have it just like that okay yes so for this particular shapes I just want to move some of them a little bit smaller just like that um, and then this one too I'll just move that one to a little bit so that it won't take the whole thing over there then i'll have something like this over there so let me check on my paragraphing over there this is sected let me see sected lined okay this one too is very beautiful so i can leave it as this and then i'll move this one to the top like that and i'll move this one too to the top and then i'll head over come and pick the two god below glory over there and then i'll just head over and then i'll come and paste it somewhere here just like that pasting pasting okay i'm just going to paste it somewhere like this and then i'll change the font to what to a, 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 a cream kick cream kick cream kick will be okay for me then i'll increase the size a little bit bigger to match over here and then i'll add a grid map to it the same gradient map on that particular distance then i can have it just like that over there you get that yes so i can have it like this and then the next thing i have to do again is to head over i come and pick designed and printer by jared press yes that is where i'm currently working at and you can come up and print your work and do anything over there you get that yes so i can have something like this over there you can also uh you can also put your own name there without any problem and then i'm going to change the distance to adobe font over there then i'm going to increase a uh, degree the size a little bit small and then i'm going to zoom out and then i'll just make the adjustment over there so have it just like that and then we have it just like this and then i'll make a sector i'll sector it the way i'll set it like that on that particular distance and then i'm going to make the boldness to somewhere bold italic so that it can appear nicer and very good on that particular part then we can have something like this then we can save our work you get that so as we are working always try and save your work so that you won't have any problem at the end of the day so this is how the front the back cover uh, we do the design. This is the place that you appreciate those who come, those who you know wasted all their time to just attend a brother or anybody where a, a, anybody from around you. So this is how the design has been designed. And when you do it like this, it looks so beautiful and people will like it. Thank you very much for watching. This is ABN Graphics, and have a nice day. Bye bye.